Welcome to my channel. I designed and printed these and yes, they are a replica of one of these uh, miniverse balls. The ones with the plants and the aquariums and stuff like that. I just don't want to get those because there is too many things in there. I really don't want to. So I designed these myself on um, Fusion 360 and printed them out on my resin printer in a translucent print. Um, they're not that translucent right now, but they will be later. Right now I'm just uh, painting on the gold details with my gold from Vallejo. And I'm just taking my times and uh, making the uh, lines or the connection between the different glass uh, plates here uh, visible with the paint. So take your time and just paint them. You will find a link in the info box below for the print file of these. When I'm done with painting, I am leaving them to dry for a few hours, so I'm pretty sure they are all hardened in the paint. Then I'm using a UV resin top coat that is a non-wipe top coat. And remember, it's UV resin, so you need a UV light for this one. And I just place this on a piece of tape on the stick. And I'm painting every nooks and crannies I can get to with this top coat before I put it under my UV light. When that is hardened, I am going to give the bottom of this little uh, thing a tiny bit of the UV light as well and again under the light with that one. So I want to make some green plants to pop in here. And I forgot the name of these ones, so sorry about that. I rolled out some green polymer clay in a snake and I am cutting out 14 pieces of these and stacking them around a piece that I just uh, squished flat on the surface where I'm working on. Uh, and this little piece is going to connect everything together so it doesn't fall apart. I made a few of mine a bit too big, so be careful with the size if you are doing them for this little um, glass cage that I made. Um, then you need to keep the size in mind. If you don't make it for this little glass cage, then you can do them as big or as small as you want to. I'm just uh, building them up one leave by the other. With this one, I am kind of just flattening out the cutout uh, from the cane and just placing them in the flower. Another way to do this is kind of rolling the little piece into a ball and then into a kind of a, a teardrop shape. And then I'm placing it so that the teardrop shape is going into the middle and the rounded off end is kind of the uh, flower itself. The last version I'm going to show you is one where I'm again rolling a ball 
then I am rolling it into the teardrop and then flattening it so it gets this flat teardrop shape. And this time I'm using the white end of them to place at the uh, inside of the plants. And then I'm just again filling them up with these leaves and that's all there is to these. When I have made the plants that I need and I am happy about them, I am going to put them into my oven and bake them all together at one time. When they have baked and they have cooled down, I am using some light green paint, again my Vallejo in green, and I'm just dabbing on on the uh, ends of the flowers here. You can use a tiny bit of yellow and a tiny bit of white as well if you want to. You can even go with the purple. That would uh, be very nice as well. I'm just keeping it um, easy with the green and the yellows here. Do this on all of your plants and your plants are ready. I do not drink coffee at all, but my husband does, so sometimes I am taking a tiny bit of his coffee grounds and I'm spreading it out on a sheet of tin foil, and then I am heating that in the oven to dry it, and that's what you see right here. So that is dried coffee uh, ground, um, and I'm mixing that together with some of my uh, glue, my taggy glue. And I'm making a very thick mixture here so that it will look like dirt in these flower pots here. When my mixture is ready, I am just placing it into this holder here for the plant. And as it is glue, it will glue in there anyway, so it's perfect. Then I'm taking one of my plants and carefully popping it into the dirt here. And there I have a little plant holder with the little plant and the dirt in there. I actually think these came out really, really cute. Then I am just taking a small jump ring and I'm placing that through the little hole in the top and closing it together again. Now you can hang this little plant in a thread or in a ribbon or a little chain or whatever you like to use to hang it up. That's all there is for this video. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.